have you watched this video? I made it in August. And this video contained a very important message for you, my dear friends. However, the video didn't get many views and not many of you had the chance to get that message. And my dear friends, this video is the continuation of that message. Hello, my dear friends, I'm Ksenia. Welcome to my channel, St. Petersburg Me. And today we will be speaking about a very interesting topic and specifically on how Russian migrants help to improve the economies of the countries where they moved after the 24th of February. So today we will be speaking about Armenia and Georgia, but please don't mix Georgia, an independent country with the state in the United States. So Georgia as an independent country is a former Soviet Union Republic, and now it's an independent country. So we will be speaking about it. If we will speak about Armenia as an example, they reported that their GDP this year will increase from 1.7% to 13%. Yes, they had uh, their forecast 2.6% at the beginning of this year, but after the 24th of uh, February, they lowered that forecast um, to 1.7%, and now <laughs> it's 13%. And uh, uh, the like happened in Georgia. Uh, their forecast for the national GDP uh, is 10% uh, this year. And yes, those two countries admit that the increase of their GDP happened because of Russian migrants. Russian migrants. And before we get to the topic of how that happened, we need to analyze how many people left Russia and settled in Georgia and Armenia in the first place. Unfortunately, that is very difficult to count right now because we don't have any exact information. All sources provide different data, different numbers, and that is not helping to actually count how many people left Russia and settled in those countries. What we can do is only to count ourselves the approximate numbers of people. And you know, for example, Russian Forbes say that 4.8 million people left Russia. Other sources of information say that it was 2.3 million people left Russia. And one more thing that makes this analysis even more difficult is that many people are using Georgia and Armenia as their transfer point. So they fly to uh, Baku or Tbilisi and they buy a new ticket to a different country and fly away from Georgia and Armenia. However, I found some sources that say that by the end of September 2022, 112,000 people settled, somehow settled in Georgia and 42,000 people stayed in Armenia, somehow settled in Ar Armenia. So uh, our next uh, analysis will be based on those numbers. So how exactly do Russians improve the economies of Armenia and Georgia? And the first thing to speak about here is IT sector. So after the 24th of February, many Russian IT companies decided to relocate their businesses together with their employees to Armenia and Georgia. And of course, after that happened, they started to pay taxes in those two countries. They started to pay salaries in um, those two countries. Yes, they pay their salaries to the Russian people. However, they use local banks to do that. And this, of course, improves the economies and moreover if those companies will want to develop to expand uh, of course they will hire more people and uh, those people will be from armenia too and from georgia too 
so russian companies create more opportunities for locals too and here a little announcement for you my dear friends i've started memberships on my channel so if you're interested in more deep communication with me please choose one of the five tiers on our memberships community and join and there i will be able to share my ideas and opinions and my daily life in more deep way with you you can find the link in the description box down below and welcome the second thing to speak about here is that people who moved to georgia and armenia and who are not engaged in it sector started to organize their own businesses and started to get salaries if they if they found a job somewhere outside armenia and uh, georgia and russia you know and they started to get money to armenian and um, georgian banks and i know that uh, some businesses started to relocate also in armenia and georgia that are not it sector so my dear friends isn't that the economical growth yes of course the uh, third thing to speak about here is that people who moved to those two countries brought a lot of money with them of course they moved and they took their money their savings with them moreover people who migrated to armenia still have the opportunity to get money transfers from their relatives in russia to georgia and they do that uh, by mir cards so mir is a payment system that was created in russia and mir cards are still working in armenia so that also improves economy when a big amount of money are coming to the country like each month or each two months of course that improves also armenians and georgians who work in a local touristic sphere in those two countries report that their touristic sphere actually expanded this year and that is understandable because people who moved from russia they obviously travel locally in those two countries and they explore their regions their cuisine how people live and armenia and georgia have many touristic sites and their nature is impeccable their nature is very beautiful and they have something to show you uh, as a tourist so of course their touristic sphere expanded however there are negative impacts coming from migration from russia such big flow of people to georgia and armenia created a demand for rent and apartments purchasing and this increased the prices for rent and purchasing of apartments and of course not so many um, locals can afford it now uh, for example as far as i know uh, the prices for rent in uh, georgia before the 24th of february were like 250 dollars per month for an apartment and now it's uh, up to eight hundred dollars per month and of course an average armenian or georgian cannot ever that uh, and that causes the uh, general uh, negativity to to people from russia because you know uh, people who moved to those two countries had money uh, those are not uh, like the poorest people of russia moved to georgia and armenia those people with higher incomes with a lot of money that they saved uh, had the opportunity to move there so those people created a really high demand for basically many things that uh, before were affor quite affordable for locals and now they are not unfortunately we have to admit that such a positive impact on the economies of georgia and armenia is not for a long time as soon as the things will settle down in russia most of the people will return to russia 
or they will move to other countries where they will have more opportunities to get higher incomes to development and to their career development however it is very good that at least for some time the economies of georgia and armenia will improve and what i can say here um, if you watch this video you know that 120 years ago when pogroms started in the russian empire uh, many russian jews moved to america and changed america for better and 100 more than 100 years passed and history repeats itself people who have to move from russia now have the opportunity to change the countries that they move in for good you know and i think that is nice so my dear friends i'm very interested uh, in your ideas and opinions on this topic please leave your comments down below i will read every one of them uh, and thank you for watching thank you for being with me and see you in the next video bye